You would think that in 1957, the tiny Maserati factory in Modena had enough on their plate just trying to win the World Formula One Championship with their lightweight 250Fs and Fangio as their number one driver. Not so. They also wanted to win the World Sports Car Championship. Whilst the 300S was a fabulous little car and it handled so beautifully, it just simply wasn't powerful enough to keep up with the competition, Ferrari. And Ferrari, of course, produced powerful cars. This was the answer. The Tipo 54, otherwise known as the 450S. This awesome car was specially constructed to try to win that 1957 World Championship. They kicked off very well with this car. It went to Sebring for the 12-hour race, and Fangio and Berra drove one to victory. During the season, they had two outright wins, but the World Championship went right the way down the line to Caracas in Venezuela. This is chassis 4508. It was purchased by a wealthy American called Temple Buell and immediately sent out at the end of 1957 to Venezuela to help the factory effort there. The more Maseratis they could get into that race, the better their chances of winning. And only the leading car of the mark would score points. Well, when the race started, Master and Gregory was driving this car, he shot off into the lead, only, unfortunately, on the second lap to fall off the road and flip the car. Let's have a look under here, shall we? This truly awesome engine is basically a couple of 250S cylinder heads that were specially developed for fitting onto a common crankcase. Four and a half litres initially. These are 45 IDM Weber carburetors, twin choke. They had about 430 horsepower in one of these cars when they started. There's one magneto for one set of plugs and a coil and distributor drive for the other set of plugs. Altogether, a spectacular combination. And just look how that engine fills up the hole. It was a tubular space frame. And in the back, they had to design and develop a special gearbox for this car. It was a different gearbox to the 250F and the 300S. Let's have a look at that as well. There it is, sitting in front of the fuel tank. That's a 40 plus gallon tank for long distance racing. There's five speeds in that gearbox and you can see the way the tubular space frame is and there are the drive shafts sticking out the side, shock absorbers up here and those fantastic finned drum brakes. The ultimate development really of a drum brake based on the 250F unit. One way or the other, this car definitely separated the men from the boys. If anybody out there is wondering about a test for macho-ness, I can tell you this is the car to try it out on. You definitely need what all men need to drive one of these. And by the way, this was the fastest sports racing car of its time in 1957 with its 4.5 litre engine. And the engine in this car has been bored out to 5.7 litres. Just think about that. That gives you over 500 horsepower. Definitely something to think about.